Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to part two of the Bulbul Fairy by Selena Fennec from Festive Magic Fantasy Christmas Colouring Book. We're going to carry on uh, colouring in our lovely girl today. We're going to do her hair and her wings, possibly her tights on the bottom of her dress. And then I shall probably do the baubles with gel pens, with glitter pens. Just put some glitter on it because, you know, it's Christmas. We've got to have a lot of glitter, haven't we? Let's be honest. There's just not enough glitter in the world. So just as a disclaimer, this is an adult colouring chat, um, excuse me, channel. It's not for children. I appear to have lost my sharpener. I'll find one in a minute. Um, so we do discuss adult themes in this, uh, in these, um, these videos. So let's crack on and see what we can do today. So I've got my eraser i found my sharpener i've got my bucket of sharpenings so we're going to do her wings today we're going to use a light purpley pinky color which is called crimson it's not crimson to me crimson should be like a bright red but that's just moi there we go let's give it a quick sharpen so. Oh, so it is now the weekend you will probably be seeing this on Saturday and I'll be like yes because I will be going to my work Christmas party after I've had my hair cut and picked up my car I'm very excited to be getting a car again I know I've been using my dad's and it's it's been all right, but it's not fair on him really. It's just going to be so nice to have a car of my own again. Because although I don't obviously I don't mind, I'm very grateful that they've lent me their car. It just means that Thursday and Friday I have to take them shopping, and I do my shopping on a Sunday with Paul. And it just uses up so much of my free time. And it's well, I say free time, it's not really, because it's the time I use for doing eBay photographs and draftings and listings so I'm not been really doing very much eBay over the last couple of months so all my sales are done and it's quiet enough as it is without me not putting any work into it so I'm going to hopefully next week be able to crack on with eBay I have listed a couple of items today but I've got to be honest I'm kind of not I don't know. At the moment, as long as I hit my fees every month and make a little bit and get all the money back from, you know, as long as I, I make a small profit, basically, and as long as I hit fees and turn a little bit of profit after cost of goods and um, postage, I don't really, I'm not really bothered at the moment. I think I'm just so tired. I've been so run down and ill lately. So in the new year, I'm going to try and eat a lot healthier to hopefully try and make sure I don't get as ill. I want to enjoy Christmas first, so um, try and exercise more, eat healthier, cut out the rubbish, and just see how it goes try and lose a bit of weight and get fitter but mainly it's to eat healthier so that I'm not as run down so I'm not getting as ill because I've just been getting so ill all the time and it's it's horrible it's not good at all I don't like being ill I like to be fit to play with my Jen Jen so she's been, she's fine now. She's been enjoying nursery this week. She's been pleased to see me when I've picked her up, but uh, she has enjoyed being back. So I'm glad I can cope with it, with work, even though I don't want to be there, knowing that she's so happy and she's looked after and she's enjoying herself. And they will say what a good eater she is. And she's not really that fussy and well, not the moment. I'm sure that'll change as she gets older.
So we actually ordered a curry tonight. It's Friday when I'm feeling this. Like I said, filming this, you'll see it on Saturday. And I just had chicken tikka masala and some rice. But we had poppadoms and she loves poppadoms. So she had some poppadom and some mango chutney with it. She loves poppadoms and mango chutney. She loves, she loves everything. She loves bananas. She's a good girl. She does eat most of pretty much anything you put in front of her. She'll try, she'll at least try it. She don't not. So we had, usually she she loves sausages and sausage and mash, but we had different sausages this week. She wasn't that keen on them. So Paul prefers them, but uh, she's more important. So not really. But it is important that she eats. So we'll be uh, having the ones she likes if they've got them in. Battery needs changing. I'll be right back. Right, that's better. So yeah, we'll be going back to the sausages that Jennifer likes, I think. Just to make sure that she's eating. So I've got some new gel pens. They, they're just glitter ones because I love the set I got from Amazon, which is a massive set of gel pens, it's a hundred. But the red wasn't very red enough for me. I like my reds to be really red. So I was like, oh, really? So I found a pack on Amazon that looked interesting and I ordered them and they were only like two pounds eighty four something and they had free shipping, so and they arrived today and I've been using them in one of my mandala books and oh my life they're lovely. You'll obviously see them in my next haul, which will be after Christmas if I get some, uh, hopefully get some colouring books for Christmas. I think I've got some colouring books for Christmas off of Paul, but I know I've got colour in heaven, which is great. But um, do you remember I told you about the Creative Haven Entangled Christmas book was delayed until the 21st? Well, it actually came today, so it wasn't as late as they thought it would be. So that's cool. I'm looking forward to, I haven't really looked through it yet, but I'm going to try and have a look through it and have a, have a colour in it at some point. So I haven't done any more on the one in seasons though. I probably will at some point soon. I'll probably do the mice next because the, the, Again, the, the, the baubles I'll do with the um, glitter gel pens so that they, they're glittery and, uh, and I don't have to put stickles on, which, because they're double-sided, those pictures on the other side will make it hard to colour on if there were stickles on it, so I'll just use gel, glitter gel on it. Um, try and crack on with that soon. Because I do, I am enjoying that one. Uh, it's just I, I had that uh, mandala book come that I wanted to have a go in, so so I did, and I really like it. And I've done one in that one. I mean, I've only completed two pages so far this year, but I've got three whips, uh, four whips technically. I've got this one which we're working on at the moment. I've got the baubles I showed you in my um. The Crayola baubles. I've got the Seasons one, and I've got one in um, Hannah Lynn's A Whimsy Girl's Christmas from last year. So, what I'll probably try and do is uh, crack on with that one as well. Obviously, there won't be any colouring happening tomorrow. Because uh, even if I get home at a reason now, which is not likely, I will probably be just wanting to go straight to bed. So it's going to be very busy on Saturday, having my hair cut at 10 o'clock, and that takes a while because I have it coloured. Um, so that's going to be at least till 1 o'clock. Paul's mum's coming over at 12. I've got to go and get the car at some point, hopefully. And then I got ready to go out. My taxi's coming at 10 past 5 to take me to 
the Celtic Manor's Manor House where we'll be meeting in the sports bar for happy hour drinks so that would be nice because the Celtic Manor is quite expensive and uh, happy hour is half price so should probably have a glass of wine or two there and then um, yeah you know can't wait it's gonna be nice I have not been out for Christmas meal with work for a long time because I usually go to places like Cardiff and I don't even really want to go to Celtic Manor because it's so posh and expensive but the company do pay for part of it so they give us money towards our Christmas party um, and I just don't it's just so expensive to get back from Cardiff it's costing me 20 quid to get back from the Celtic Manor and that's just up the road um, just because it's going to be late and of course it's that time of year where everybody wants taxis um, lots of people out having parties I mean, the only difference is I don't have to book a time for a taxi back because my friend at work, her son's a taxi driver and he's already told his bosses that his mum's going to text for a taxi <laughs> for me and her and um, he's got to go and get us when we're ready and that's fine, I, so I don't mind that because it's like, yay, whatever. I've just got to have a, I forgot to look, I haven't looked for my shoes yet, I'll have to look out a pair of shoes. And then if I can't find a pair I like to wear tomorrow, I'll nip to Tesco and buy a pair. There's just so much to do in the evenings with Jennifer getting her ready for bed that I just forgot to do it. it took me ages to book a taxi. I did it today and it's, it's fine. So I know you'll say when I get here. Where are you going, love? I'm going to the Celtic Manor, the Manor House part. So not the ugly bit, the really nice old-fashioned bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not a big fan of the Celtic Manor. I know some people love it. To be fair, I have only ever been there once, so i got to give it a bit more of a chance, I think. And that was a couple of years ago for their Gangsters and Moles Christmas themed night. This is the Black Tidy, which is even more expensive. But like I said, as um, the company are paying for... part of it I'm quite happy it, you know it's not it's not too bad I don't mind going so much excuse me I know what you see is my arm I'm trying to get a pencil and um yeah very tired very tired today but then it has been a long week at work I will put some Wink of Stella on her wings, I think, just to give them some glitter. So I've got the clear one. I am waiting for the um, the other ones I've got coming. Um, I think it's a red one, a gold one, and a, a white one. But I've got the clear one, so. Oh, it gets to the point where you just want to go to sleep, don't you? I didn't sleep very well last night, I've got to be honest. Uh, I went up to bed and Jennifer started crying because she must have heard me come up the stairs. Um, wasn't that late, so. But I mean, I had to go in and sort her out and um, she wanted me to cuddle her, so I got into the bed in her room. She went to sleep and then basically I wait till I need the bathroom and then I usually doze off for a bit and then I wake up needing the loo and I'll put her back in her cot and then go back to bed. And then she woke up again at half past, well no, at three o'clock and started again. So again, I had to go and sort her out. I can't leave her when she sounds like that. She sounds so heartbroken. And she might have had a bad dream or something spooked her, upset her. 
It's hard to say she can't tell me yet. She hasn't got the words, but... Oh, she is amazing. So she's in the habit of saying it's mine now. No, mine. So you go... You pick something up and she tries to grab it. You say, no, it's, it's mine. And she goes, no, mine. Her granddad taught her that. No, mine. Everything's hers. It's <laughs> so cute. And at nursery today, she just... When she saw me, she couldn't wait to get over to me again. She was like that yesterday as well. She just runs over and she can open the gate in the nursery now to let us help out of the room. <laughs> so, uh-oh. I'm going to keep an eye on her. And yesterday was the first time she climbed the stairs on her own. Um, we usually carry her up, but um, yesterday and today it was like, do you want to go to bed, Jen? And she nods her head. And I said, come on then. And she runs to the stairs. And then she can't get up the first one because the stair gate's on there and it's got a black bar across the floor and she just can't do it. So I lift her up over that one because the steps in our, our stairs are so steep. It's really hard for her. They're not, you know. So she um, has to go up on her knees, but she does and she's so cute. So she's a very happy girl. So I've been watching some colouring videos and I'm yeah, really still worrying about what's going to happen with copper and I am concerned and I am wary but you know as far as I'm concerned my channel is for adults. I, although we have to abide by the same rules the laws in this country are different we have to I mean and the YouTube terms and conditions they have to abide by the rules in your country and quite rightly so um, and now I don't know how copper are going to try and find people out of the United States oh, I missed a bit there I don't know how that's going to work because they've actually got to take you to court and I can't see it being worth their while to take YouTubers from another country to court because the costs involved it, it, it's going to be horrendous um, and I don't monetize my channel anyway it's not monetized because I don't have enough subscribers but that doesn't mean to say we can be complacent we've got, still got to be careful we've still got to make sure that we're doing things correctly but we will just have to wait and see and there's no point in panicking I think it's a shame that some YouTubers have stopped making videos because of it because um, in some cases the bots have already been through and flagged them up as being children's content now as far as I can tell they haven't gone through mine as far as I know um, and it's not flagging up as for children uh, so all I can do is just wait and see and it might be like I said because I am not monetized because I don't have enough subscribers I've got under 600 subscribers now <coughs> yes I am getting more subscribers because I'm posting more regularly and I'm really grateful for that but I, I can't look at analytics I've got some analytics but things like the age one It says not enough information to provide this, the details. So I can't tell, even though that's only a guide anyway, what the age range of the people watching my channel are because um, it won't tell me. It just says there's just not enough information. So it's like a question of, well, what do I do? Do I just... And like I said, it is it is only a guideline anyway, so. So I'm just trying to do these the top these um bits on her dress that are the holly. But it's very tiny. Could have used a fine liner on it, I guess, but
So yeah, I mean, it, it is... Um, I mean, I wish that I could monetize my account. It would be nice to make a little bit of money, but... It don't happen, it don't happen. It's not the end of the world, is it? Let's be honest. I got... Uh, more important things to worry about than whether or not I can monetize my YouTube account. See, I've missed a few of these. Here, look. I can't remember the exact colors I used. I think it was this one and the one next to it, so. You know, I was like, that might not have been that one. It is now, though. <laughs> oh, dear. So one of the other things I do to try and earn a little bit of money, because obviously I don't earn anything from making videos and, and that's fine, I don't actually have a problem with that, is, oh. um, is I do um, some online surveys. You get points, um, it's not a lot, and then after a while you get so many points you get money. So I think it's like after a thousand points you get ten dollars and it is done in dollars. So obviously for me that works out as about seven pounds, which is it's okay, it's not to be sniffed at. It's a lot of work to get seven quid though. But I do it, it's something to do, and I try just to do the shorter ones. They have some um surveys that can take 20 to 30 minutes. I try to stay away from those and only do the ones that are around 10 at the longest. I did a couple today that were around 3 or 4. But at the moment, it's all about the blinking bloody election. And I've got to be honest, I'm sick of hearing about it. It just asks you where you're based. Did you vote in the last one? How did you vote in the last one? Did you vote in the... Um, EU referendum, how did you vote in the EU referendum and all that rubbish and it's just, oh, really um, may maybe it's because I know how I'm going to vote and nothing is going to change my mind nothing um, and also I don't believe really that it's anybody's business on how anybody votes other than themselves I know these are polls for, sometimes these are polls for, to try and gauge which way the election's going to go, but it's all, it's just too much, so anyway. We're not going to get into politics on this channel. That's not what this channel's about. It's about relaxing and colouring and enjoying ourselves. And um, enjoying the Christmas and holiday season, which is what this month is about. And I love this time of year. And I can't wait. Next weekend, my brother Chris will be home from New Zealand. Hooray! Um and uh, we'll be hurtling towards the holidays. Hooray! So I do want to try and watch some movies soon. It's been a while since I've actually watched anything. I think the last film I saw, I can't remember what it was. I watched a documentary about the Titanic which was a full-length movie um, and that was, um, that was it. it, was Ghost of the Abyss which was the James Cameron one about the, about the sinking, you know, when he went back again after, a long time after um, the making of the film. And, uh, yeah, that was really good. And the one before that was the film with Rennie's Welliger, Judy, which I saw at the cinema. We very rarely go to the cinema these days. I know that'll change as she gets older, but... But I've got loads of films on DVD, and I know you can stream them. I just like to own it so I can watch it when I want to. I know with streaming you can, but it's still got to be available on the streaming platform. 
and I'm, I'm really into old movies, as you know. So sometime in the next couple of weeks, I want to watch my favourite Christmas movie, which is the 1946 classic It's a Wonderful Life with James Stewart and Donna Reed. I love that movie. I've always loved that movie. I will always love that movie. It's just the best movie ever for Christmas. I, I do just love it. <coughs> and the other one's not a Christmas movie per se, but it does have a Christmas theme in it and a Christmas song. And that is uh, the Judy Garland classic, Meet Me in St. Louis. Oh, I've missed a bit on this purple one, haven't I? Doi. This one, this one. Um, I just love it. And you know, you have the scene with um, the little girl and she sings, have yourself a merry little Christmas to her. And I just love it. It makes me cry every time. Saying that it doesn't matter where they are at Christmas as long as they're all together, which is this whole sentiment of what Christmas is. Um, yeah, so I'm looking... I would like to see that. Another film I really like, and I haven't seen it for a couple of years, and I did see it on TV once when it was on a few years ago, and that's The Polar Express. I really, really loved that movie. We're going to use Burnt Sienna now for her hair. I really, really enjoyed Polar Express. I admit I did enjoy it. And I can see Jennifer enjoying that film when she's a bit older. At the moment, she kind of likes Teletubbies and Mr. Tumble. The baby on Teletubbies makes her laugh. Oh, she's so cute. And that, every time that baby chuckles, she lets out a hell of a belly laugh. And it's just adorable. She does like that. She doesn't watch a lot of TV, but she does like Teletubbies. Oh, the joy, eh? It makes you wonder, don't you, what the things that kids watch. I'm pretty sure the things I watched when I was her age wasn't much better, so... So are you guys all ready for Christmas? Have you got all your presents sorted and wrapped? I've got to be honest, I haven't even got the deckies up yet. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I think it's actually just supposed to be um, ripples in her dress, so I'll get the red and go back in on that in a minute. Have you got your deckies up? Are you already wrapped and sorted? I've got to be honest, I'm not. I'm still trying to tidy up enough to get the Christmas tree in because it's where Jennifer's toy box lives and I've got to move it. I might do it tomorrow if I get a chance. If not, it'll be Sunday and then I'll say to Paul, do you want to have a look at getting the tree down next Saturday? We'll get it down, I think. I'll get it up next week. I don't want it up too early. I'd get bored of it then. I mean, these people, they put them up in, like, November. And then they take them down Boxing Day or a couple of days after Boxing Day. It just seems pointless because, to me, it's still, Christ it's still Christmas season until after New Year. You need your decorations up for New Year. But that's just me. That's why I won't put them up early because I would get bored of them understandably that people do totally get it too dark mm, what color do we want how about this one more of a indian red it's a nice color and yeah so 
I leave them up till twelfth night, which is I think January the fifth or the sixth, something like that. Well, that's a good colour. Can't really see what I'm doing, but never mind. I do apologise. I do like this book. But the problem is I've got so many books that I really like. And I haven't coloured in half of them. I've got so many books I haven't coloured in that I am trying to colour in every one. I know they have this thing, this colour your hoard tag. But I don't do all the tags. If I did all the tags, I wouldn't get anything done properly. Yeah, that's fine. But, um, yeah, I am trying to colour in every single book. At least one picture in every single book. And it is difficult when you've got so many. And you get a book that suddenly becomes a favourite and you want to colour three or four pictures in it and you're not colouring in any other stuff. Or you get a new book in and suddenly that takes priority. Or you get a book that you really want and then you look at it and you're... so intimidated by it that you're, you're afraid to colour in it. <clears throat> Strangely enough, Nicholas Philbert's Serene didn't intimidate me that much. It is intimidating. It is a beautiful book that you don't want to just get in and wreck. Um, and I know this. I have done one in it and I was really pleased with it and I used my Touch 5 markers. Um, and I do want to do more in that book. But like I said, I've, I've coloured in that one and I've got so many books I haven't coloured in. That I want to make sure I colour in them first. But I have got books that I've bought because I thought, oh, I like the look of that. And then I've got it and I've lo I look at it and I think, uh, no. It's not happening. I can't colour that. And it is just a matter of just biting the bullet and saying, right, I'm going to do it. And doing it in bits and pieces. Like I said with the um, one I'm doing in Seasons, there's a lot of green. There's a lot of fir tree because it's a Christmas tree and it's got baubles on it and I'm thinking if I thought about it and thought how boring it's going to be to colour I'd never do it but I've done all the fir, fir tree now <coughs> and it was just by doing it in little sections that I managed to get it done and that's probably the most boring bit of it is doing the fir tree now it's things like the mice and the baubles and the background um, sort of thing I want to do which I'm going to use pebble chalks for and yeah, oh, I like her hair, it's a lovely colour. Just under here needs a little bit more colour, there, just there. That's it, lovely. That's that one. Now I want a blue, blues are all the way up here. Do more. And I find a nice, that one. And I'll just give it a bit of a sharp. I wonder what colour to do this bottom bit of a hem. Should I do that in pink or should I do it in a completely different colour? I'm going to do this background in metallic gold. Because I think that would look nice. And that's sort of just like a ribbon. I know we're going to do her eyes. I'm going to have to get close to that. Excuse me. Watch my head. There we are. There. And I'm trying to take the top off and it's blinking pencil. Right. Tights. Pink and white. Pale pink and white, I think. This pink. I might do the bottom of her dress this pink as well, actually. Put some metallic threads around the edge here. Oop, nearly dropped that. We'll just do this. Pink. This colour, by the way, is light purple pink. 
I think I'll be a sniffly cold, but I have no idea how long this is. It's probably nearly 40 minutes. <laughs> but some people seem to like the longer versions, so. And the long videos. That's fine. I might leave the the other bit white. So we'll have one more video of this. And I'll probably film that on Sunday and put it up Monday. And then we'll try and get another one done. And uh, we'll be in the Colour It Christmas um, colouring book. Because somebody wanted us to colour in that one. So we'll do that one in there next. I've just got to decide which one. Stopped recording again for some reason. It seems to get to half an hour and then start, but uh, I don't know why. So let me know if you think I should colour in a tights a different colour on the others or should I leave them white? Let me know what you think. I'm going to use a different pink for the bottom. If I can find a, a lighter one, it would be nice. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments if you think I should just uh, leave, the, leave it white or put a colour in and if so, what colour do you think I should put in? Oh dear, broken end. I've got to put in a bit of red on that bit where the thing is, so I'll do that in a minute. But we're just going to very quickly and quietly shade in this. Yeah, I think pink's quite a nice colour for that bottom bit. I'm enjoying this one. Oh, like I said, I think I'm going to put gold trim in there. It's alright. Ah. I can't see now. My glasses are falling down. I got funny eyesight. I've got I need glasses for long vision, but I can't wear them for close up. So if I'm watching YouTube and stuff like that, I have to have them on. But if I'm colouring, I have to have them off. So. Like I said, we'll come in on the next video and just do the baubles. and all the metallic stuff and then we'll be finished. It's been quite nice doing this one, I've enjoyed this. I gotta be honest, it was hard to choose one from this book because they're all so beautiful. just need to put in that red. Now, I think it was this red I used. It's only for these bits anyway. We'll just do that, yeah, that's fine. They would be slightly dark as well because it's where there's a, a crease. There we go. Now we want to do these little bits and we're gonna use this um, sort of a uh, funny greeny color. It's actually called, it's Cadmium, Cadmium Yellow Lemon. <coughs> so it's actually a yellowy, greeny thing. So I think this time, next, tomorrow I'll be out on the town. Having a few beers. Now we'll put a green over the top, but a light green. I know what colour. That's quite, oh, that's quite bright, isn't it? I have swatched these colours, but the baby nicked the swatch book and I think it's in the car. She grabs things and then she won't let go. And she um, 
cries if you take them off her. So it's just sometimes it's easier to let her have it for five minutes. So I think the swatchbook's in the car, which I will get out tomorrow when I drop the car back off down at Grandad's and get mine. Hopefully. Right, that's that, and then I'll just put this very light green over the top. I'll start this one up here. That's it. So yeah, we've only got the glitter and the metallics to do now. Um, so that's cool. I'm just going to finish this little bit off and we are done for the day. We've got one more video to go on this. We'll do all the glitter and metallic stuff in the next video. And then it'll all be done. Yay! So let's uh, just zoom out and have a look at her. That's how she's looking so far. Very pretty. I've enjoyed doing this so far. So like I said, in the next video, we'll just do these baubles. I think I need to put a bit more green on that one there. Hang on. Um, that's it. We'll do the, the top of her dress in gold metallic with a bit of metallic thread around there. And then we'll do the baubles. And uh, that'll be it. So I hope you have enjoyed this colouring chat. It's been quite a long one. Um, yeah, I'm going to crack on. Do some more colouring with some other bits now. Um, and I will see you again very shortly when we will finish off the Bauble Fairy from uh, Festive Magic by Selena Fennec. So if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think. If you're not already a subscriber, please uh, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell as well so you'll be notified every time I post a video, which I am trying to do two or three times a week. At the moment, it seems to be practically every day. It's just because we've had the hauls and the completed pages and things like that. So, yeah, let me know what you think and I'll see you all soon in the next video. Bye, guys. Oh, sorry about that. Happy colouring.